Welcome back to Raise Your Drink with me, Leisha. Today we are going to be making syrups for our cocktails. Brown sugar simple syrup, uh, white sugar simple syrup, or just simple syrup. Then we're going to make two fruit syrups. We're going to make a strawberry syrup and a raspberry syrup. Then we're also going to make a herb syrup with rosemary. And then we're going to make a honey syrup. So we're kind of covering all the bases of what you'll need. And then you can just switch out the ingredients. For example, in my bourbon, in my bourbon smash video, there's like a, I use a basil simple syrup and you're gonna use, make that the exact same way as you'd make the rosemary simple syrup. Four simple syrups for a regular one-to-one, -one, which means equals parts sugar, equal parts water, and you've heard me say that many times. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna start off with your little pot or a big pot. Then you're gonna do equal parts. So it's one cup of sugar to one cup of water. So then you go ahead and you pour your one cup, I've it measured out. And then you let that just gently come to a boil. Once that starts to bubble, we're gonna stir in the sugar. Once we stir in the sugar, the whole goal for this is just for it to dissolve. So you'll take about 30 seconds once you throw that sugar in there, it'll dissolve, pour it into your jar or a lunch box or whatever you plan on storing it in. And it'll be good for about six weeks in the fridge. In all honesty, it's probably good for much longer than that. But sometimes, if it doesn't have a good seal, the, the fridge takes over and you don't want a yummy cocktail with the taste of the fridge. For fruit syrups, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need sugar, you're gonna need water, and you're gonna need your fruit. For the fruit, obviously give it a wash first. These um, strawberries, I'm gonna chop the tops off and cut them down. The raspberries are already clean. And with that, you do the same method as before. You bring your water up to a boil, you add in your sugar, let your sugar dissolve, then you're gonna add in your berries or your fruit and you're gonna let that simmer away for about 20 to 25 minutes so it reduces a small bit. You're really trying to infuse that syrup with all of the delicious flavors of your fruit. For honey simple syrup or honey syrup, once again, method is very similar, except for, for this honey syrup, we are gonna double the water to the honey, so it's a two to one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do two cups of water to one cup of honey or one cup of water to half a cup of honey. Now this is just starting to come to a boil or a simmer. And we're gonna go ahead and add our one cup of white sugar. It's just sugar. Now that's simmering away and we're just gonna add this in, stirring it to melt. And once that sugar is melted, there you have it. Simple syrup. So don't ever think that because you have to put a syrup or make all of these things in order for your cocktail, it really is, it's something you can do when you're popping on the dinner. It's so easy, you really can't mess it up. Worst, worst case scenario, what, it's too sweet and then you just add a little bit of water to, to tone it down. So don't let syrups and some other like cocktail jargon make you nervous or make you feel like, oh no, I sure I couldn't do that. You absolutely can, there is nothing fancy about sugar and water, but sugar and water in a drink and that's another story. All right, that's all done. Turn that heat off and then I'm gonna let that cool for a few minutes in the pot before I pop it in um, my jar. I keep jars from everything. Salsa, pasta sauce, um, olives, anything. Anything that has a jar, well, a food, a food item that has a jar and a lid. I keep it, label it, store it in the fridge and yeah, it's very easy, very easy. So now that this has cooled for a couple of minutes, I'm just gonna transfer it into the jar. Actually, I'm gonna transfer it into the jug because, and then I'll pour it into the jar from there because I couldn't be trusted not to spill it. So that was one cup water to one cup sugar, and that gave us one and a half cups of syrup. Lovely. Pour right in my little jar here. And there you have it, that's just simple syrup. And like I said, six weeks, lid on, stick a label on it. You don't wanna sip out of that. Okay, up next, up next in the syrup situation, we're gonna be making brown sugar simple syrup. We are going to let our water come to a boil as we did before with um, regular simple syrup. And we're gonna be doing brown sugar this time. Brown sugar simple syrups, they are a little more rich. The only difference between brown sugar and white sugar is the addition of molasses and that just gives it that richer, that richer taste and it holds up really well in drinks that already have really strong flavors that you're trying to just cut through. 
So like I said, brown sugar, this is coming to a simmer right now. I'm gonna stir this, ooh, stir this brown sugar in and just let it dissolve. Take about 30 seconds. And once this is dissolved, yep, this is dissolved. We're just gonna let this sit again just for a few minutes to cool down a little bit. And I like to batch make in my syrups the way I'm doing it now. I mean, one, because of filming, but two, then any, any drink is a possibility. If I want a clover club or like a strawberry lemonade, like vodka cocktail, or if I want like a bee's knees with honey, I'm just trying to prepare you for the possibility of anything at any time. Like I said, I like to do it all in one day, save my jars up and pop them all in. Now this is cooling down a little bit. So now our brown sugar, it's such a pretty color too. So we're brown sugar simple syrup and like the white sugar beforehand, we did equal parts. So we had one cup water, one cup sugar and it yielded about a cup and a half of syrup. Then I'm gonna pour that in this big boy. And that will cool. All right, back to our syrups. So we're gonna be making the strawberry syrup next. What we have going here, I have uh, one cup of water coming to a boil. I have about one and a half cups of strawberries that chopped in half and it, or quartered if they're bigger, and then one cup of sugar. So as before, we're gonna add the cup of sugar directly to the simmering water. We're gonna let that dissolve very quickly. And then once that is dissolved, we're gonna throw in the strawberries and we are gonna let them simmer away for about 25 minutes. Now, fruit syrups, there is one extra step. Okie doke, now that the, the sugar is all dissolved, we're gonna add in our strawberries, mix them around and let that come, let that simmer away for about 20 minutes. Fruit syrups are just a little bit different than sugar syrups. So we have our water in here, our sugar in here, our fruit in here. We are gonna let that simmer, like I said, for about 20, 25 minutes. As this starts to boil and reduce and the fruit is letting out all of its lovely flavors, a foam is gonna build up. We want the clearest, prettiest, yummiest syrup possible. So we're gonna, in order to do that, we need to scrape some of the foam off the top. It's very easy to do, do not, do not be dis, dis, in, discouraged. And all we're going to do is, we are just gonna skim that foam right off the top. It's that easy. All of these syrups, these can all be used for any number of things. Sweetening up non-alcoholic drinks, sweetening up tea, putting the fruit syrups over ice cream is so delicious. You know, sometimes you only have plain. This'll make the difference. You can see that is simmering away nicely. And then as that white foam begins to build up, that is what we are going to spoon off and just toss. So as we saw that, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. It was getting a little overexcited. So that foam is building up. So you can use the dessert spoon or even like a little slotted spoon if you have one. Sometimes that allows it to just drain away. You're just gonna, that white foam, we're just gonna spoon it off. Do be careful when doing this. Do be careful. Be careful when doing this. This stuff's hot. Sugar is hot. Anyone who's gotten a sugar burn knows the pain. I haven't a clue. So just we're, what we're doing is we're just skimming that white foam right off the top. We're trying to get the clearest liquid possible. You'll also notice that the fruit begins to lose its color. It's because the syrup is gaining it. Also once like I said, we're, we're scooping off all this white foam. And then afterwards we are going to strain it. See that foam? Just scraping it off. Just scooping off as much of that foam as you can. I'm gonna give you another look at these strawberries, see how they're losing their color. But them losing their color only means that the syrup is gaining it. It's not going anywhere. 
we're keeping the color. So as you can see, they are definitely losing their color. You can also see it's starting to reduce. And then we're just gonna go back and scoop, just keep on scooping that foam off the top. Oh, it smells heavenly. It smells heavenly. The reason I'm making this strawberry syrup today is for a punch. A bit late in the, bit late in the summer for punch, but the weather's still nice. So now that this is losing its color, we've scooped off most of the foam. We're just gonna let it do its thing for about another 10 minutes. The heat from underneath this should be about a medium, nothing too crazy. We just want it to simmer and let it, all of those flavors come out of the strawberries. So this syrup is almost done. It just smells, it's very exciting. I am very excited to use this. Now the syrup has it's been simmering away there for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. It has reduced by at least half. You can just tell by the level in the pot. I've scraped away as much of that foam as I can. Now that this is ready, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it through just a strainer. This is just my kitchen strainer into a nice big bowl. Make sure the bowl you choose or whatever you decide to strain into, that the strainer can't sit in it, that it won't hit the bottom of the bowl. A good deep bowl or even like through into this jug will be fine just so the solids won't be sitting in the liquid. What we're trying to do is just separate the solids from the syrup. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and pour that right in there. Back and away from my white top, please. And then we are just going to let that drip away. As you can see, look at that color. Now you can see that there is still a little tiny bit of foam, but nothing, nothing so crazy that it will affect our syrup in the long run. The next step then is we need to gently guide these through. So we're trying to get all of the juice, but we're still trying to do it without getting a cloudy liquid. All we're gonna do is push these back side to side. We're not forcing it through the strainer. I'm just trying to get all the juice that we can out of it. It is such a pretty color. Now that we have moved the strawberries back and forth a couple of times, we know that we've gotten out all of the juice that we possibly can from it. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of these. You can put them in a jar, you can reuse them, you could eat them, you could probably bake them in a tart. You could do whatever you want with these strawberries, but I'm just gonna put them to the side for now. And then you'll see our beautiful liquid. Now you still see there's still a little bit of foam, so I'm just gonna go right in there, scoop that off the top. As you can see, that is a really clear strawberry syrup. You could run this through cheesecloth if you wanted to get all of those little, those little bits out. However, I'm very happy with this and this is what I'm gonna use for my cocktail. So that is how you make strawberry syrup. Gonna let this cool, then I'll transfer it into my little jar. Moving swiftly along on our syrup journey. In here, I just have a regular simple syrup, so I dissolved some sugar in water. And now for a herb syrup, you just add fresh herbs to the liquid for about a half an hour and then you have a really fra fragrant, lovely syrup. You don't want to let the, the rosemary or the herbs steep for too long, a half an hour is plenty of time because any length of time after that sometimes can lead to a little bit of bitterness in your syrup. This exact same process, so one cup sugar, one cup water, handful of herbs, or it's probably about a quarter cup of herbs. This will work great. So this is rosemary, obviously. Herbs can bring a real uh, seasonal flavor to your cocktails. All you need to know, so you already know how to make a simple syrup, you dissolve sugar in water and you're good. With that, then all we did was I added a quarter cup of rosemary right to the pot. This same method can be used for thyme, for basil, and you let it sit for about 30 minutes. Any longer than that, sometimes get a little bitter, so just set an alarm or something to remind yourself to come back and pull the herbs out. But this also will last for about six weeks in your fridge, so you're, you're good to go. Now that this has been sitting for about a half an hour, we'll just take out that rosemary. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Take out that rosemary, because it's been sitting, we just let the, the rosemary sit in it for 30 minutes. It's already nice and cool and I can directly put it into my jar. I'm gonna try to do this without spilling it. There is a first for everything. 
Moving on to the honey syrup. So what we have here, we have one and a half cups of water and we are just going to bring that up to a nice boil and simmer. Then we are gonna mix in one cup of honey and start to combine. This will keep in the fridge for about two to three weeks. Once this comes to a simmer, we're gonna throw it in and start to combine, let it cool down and pop it in the fridge. Now that that is at a nice simmer, just pour it in. <clears throat> If honey is something you're avoiding or you're a vegan, using agave instead of honey in a cocktail is a great substitute. You can get that anywhere. Now that all of that is in, we are just going to stir to combine till it's all dissolved. Let it cool and then transfer it into its little jar. Now that is all combined and melted and it has cooled a little bit. I am going to pour it in here. So we did one and a half cups of water to one cup of sugar and that gave us just two cups. It gave us two cups of honey syrup and this will be good in your fridge for about three weeks and I'll pour it into this cute little jar and I'll keep the rest for later and there you have it honey syrup all right last but not least on our syrup journey is going to be raspberry syrup so we're going to do one cup of water Bring that to a simmer, then add one cup of sugar, and then add our fresh raspberries. So this is gonna have the exact same method as the strawberry one. I figured I would film it because I'm making them anyway, so why not? So basically we're gonna bring this to a boil, add the sugar, let the sugar dissolve in there. Then we are gonna add the raspberries, let it cook off for about 20, 25 minutes, strain it through and get that clear yummy syrup. Now this is just coming to a nice simmer. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my one cup of sugar. And then we're just gonna stir to dissolve the sugar. And then we are gonna add the cup of raspberries. Raspberries might be my favorite fruit. Add that, give that a quick stir, and then we are going to let it do its thing for the next 20, 25 minutes. With the raspberry syrup, we do need to skim that foam right off the top like we did with the strawberry syrup. By doing that, it just kind of ensures a much clearer liquid for you, a better looking syrup, therefore a prettier drink. Raspberries give off the prettiest color syrup ever. See, it's just starting to simmer around the sides. Oh, you can really see the color is starting to come through. And the berries are gonna lose their color, similar to the way the strawberries lost their color. But you can definitely reuse these sugary fruits for something. It really doesn't take long to make these syrups. I mean, you could obviously could have multiple pots going at one time. The, the fruit ones do need that little bit of extra attention, but the rest are just so easy. And by making these, you're just setting yourself up. Anytime someone comes in, you got something for them. Up in your host game, because house parties are, are the way forward. I feel bad for I feel bad for the college students, like their first year of college not being able to go out. But throw a banger. It's making serious. While this is doing its reducing and getting all good and yummy, I'm just gonna set up my little bowl once again with just like my kitchen strainer. Easy peasy. And we are just gonna strain it the exact same way as the strawberry one, moving the solids through but not pressing down because we don't want it to lead to a cloudy syrup. Now, we are going to strain right through here. Oh, and that color is just so pretty. As you can see, it caught all of the solids. We're left with a very clear liquid because we were scooping out that foam. Now with the raspberry ones, even more so than the strawberry, 
You just want to gently move back and forth. No pressing. We're just gently moving, trying to get the juice out without causing any cloudiness. Yeah, these seeds will be actually really lovely on toast. Made a little jam. All right. That's good. I don't want to force anything through. We are striving for perfection or near, near as close to perfection as we can. Then just get those last few bubbles off. And you really do have the prettiest color of syrup. All right. Perfect. We'll have some delicious cocktails coming up with this one. So now that's pretty much it for our syrups video. Look at this for a lineup. We have our symbol syrup. We have a brown sugar symbol syrup. We have our rosemary syrup. We have our strawberry syrup, our honey syrup, and cooling off right now is our raspberry syrup. Let's get this into its jar. Then we can have them all cool down. Oh no, I can't do that. Now, and we have our raspberry syrup. Look at those colors, the raspberry and the strawberry. So similar yet so different. Thank you for taking this syrup journey with me. We did all of the syrups today. Today we made, we made two sugar syrups, we made two fruit syrups, we made a herb syrup and a honey syrup. Having multiple types of syrups on hand for your cocktails is always a great way to ensure that you can always make something nice. All of these syrups will be good in your fridge for about five to six weeks with the exception of our honey syrup. Honey will last for about two to three weeks in the fridge. The brown sugar syrup will be great up against some stronger liquor flavors, so like a dark rum or a bourbon. The brown sugar is just rich and can really stand up to that. The honey syrup will be great in the bee's knees and we'll catch that video soon. Also, the rosemary syrup stands up so good to gin. Rosemary and gin were meant to be together. Then we have our strawberry and our raspberry. Both of those can go, you can go any direction with those. Gin, tequila, rum, it doesn't matter. Vodka, always easy winner. Having regular simple syrup in your fridge is always great. So many classic cocktails called for those. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. If you haven't already, head over to Instagram. Follow me at Raise Your Drink. I share da daily tips on there. And for your syrup recipes, if you have your recipe card, you can just fill them out. If not, head on over to the blog at raiseyourdrink.com. Pop in your email and I will email a recipe card right over to you. And that way you can keep everything on file. You can start your whole collection of recipes all from Raise Your Drink. Thank you so much for taking the fuss out of fancy with me and we'll see you next time.